Today I want to show you uh, Jolly Cloud 1.0, which is an operating system for your netbook. They focus really heavily on a combination of web and local apps to install. Um, there's also a very great touch interface, so it's very graphic as you can see. And it's a great alternative to running Windows or whatever Linux operating system that you have in your netbook. They made great improvements over their beta version. They previously really depended on Ubuntu Netbook Remix. Um, their main, main idea was to have a combination of apps but you could only download it through the application itself, and but you had to launch them in Ubuntu Remix, which really ruined the feel of the operating system. In 1.0, they completely redid the home screen in HTML, and the whole interface has been, uh, I guess, revitalized. It looks great now. It runs really fast as well. So I just want to show you how everything looks. To get started, the first home screen you get to is the home screen, uh, where you have all your collected applications. So I only actually have two pages of it. But as I said previously, there's, it's a combination of web and local apps. So web apps include like Facebook, Gmail, Twitter, which all just take you to the basic website. But other apps like OpenOffice and Skype and all your other Linux favorites are saved locally on your hard drive for easy access. So it's a great combination since on the netbook you really only access web apps as you only really go to Facebook, Twitter, Mail. There's not a real name for you to edit videos or photos, even though there is some options, including so, uh, Sumo Paint for photo editing and Audacity for audio. There's also a social networking side of uh, Jolly Cloud as well, where you can also make friends with other people who have Jolly Cloud, and they'll just give you status updates on wh who downloads what, who favorites an application, and who updates to the latest version. So as you can see, I have no followers or friends here, but if I did, I could see all their uh, updates. Jolly Cloud also worked really hard to make a unified um, file system here, so I can access all my files here quite easily without going back into Ubuntu and Netbook Remix. They also show you my drives as well, so this is my Jolly Cloud drive, and I also can see my Windows partition as well. There's also emphasis once, a while, once again on the web interface, so I have easy access to all my favorite uh, web drive services as Dropbox, Box.net, there's also something called Drop. IO and a Zumo drive, which I've never tried before, but I heavily rely on Dropbox during the school year and it's great to see it built into the operating system. In the settings panel, you just have all your basic information when you joined, how many machines are on your, um, how many machines are on your account. Since the web-based interface, you can actually log in to your exact interface, what you see on the snapbook here, on any computer and access all your favorite apps. Um, they worked really hard to make it very, very web, web inclusive. So I can actually go in my browser and go to my.jollycloud.com, log in and get all my favorite apps and settings. So I'll show you just how you would really use it. Um, it's just you click on whatever apps you want. So let's say I'm doing web browsing. We'll just open Chrome up, go back to the home, which is this little cloud in the top left corner. Let's say I also want to watch YouTube videos as well, which will open a little, I guess, Chrome window of YouTube. See, it's the same interface you would see, but it's its own dedicated app. And uh, I can alt tab between the two as well, and um, I can obviously multitask as well. So I can open up Skype, which will open a small window on the screen. And you guys can see it's already in my launch bar. So it's really easy to maneuver. Um, it's very, very intuitive. If you've used Windows, if you've used Mac OS X, this should not be an issue for you. On top of here, you also have a search bar, which is really great about the search bar, is you can either look for applications in Jolly Club, or just Google something. So let's say I want to download, um, since I already have Tumblr, I'll just look for Tumblr again. So if I type in Tumblr, I have the option of searching it for a Jolly Cloud app or searching it on Google. So let's click on Google and I have a very, very easy to use search box right built into the operating system, which is great. But the most important thing I want to show you guys is the apps. They really focus on these apps. So right now you have all the feature apps. There's, a hun there's hundreds of them everywhere. But um, I probably downloaded a lot of the featured ones, which are just the basic web, you know, Gmail, Skype, Facebook, Dropbox, Twitter. Um, they also have Boxy, they have Hulu Desktop, which actually runs pretty well if you keep it in standard definition. I actually watched an episode of Gleon on my netbook, and it worked pretty well. So I can do all apps here, and I can just go to a little arrow, and there's just a whole bunch of them. And installing them is really easy as well. So let's, let's find an app to download. Um, let's download... Well, let's download a web app so, since they download so quickly, but um, let's do media. So let's download Skimmer. No, let's download Google Reader, which is definitely a web app. So I do add, and you can see the little progress right here, this little orange icon, which means it's downloading and installing. 
and it's pretty unintrusive. You know when it's do uh, when it's installing, but once it's finished, it disappears. So then I can go back to my home screen. Oh, my home screen is here. Back to my applications. Scroll to the second page, and there you have it. I can launch it instantly. Uh, to delete an application, it's just as easy as installing it. I just click this little arrow and I click remove and it pretty much removes it instantly. It's so easy to use. It's pretty intuitive. Let's go back to the app. So they have a lot of different categories. It's very reminiscent of the App Store and, uh, on your iPhone or iPod Touch. You have add-ons, browsers, communication, and uh, don't forget it's all a different combination of web apps and uh, local apps as well. So you do get some pretty intensive apps like Audacity, uh, Open Office, all your favorite Linux applications are here as well. So I hope you guys try it out. Uh, Jolly Cloud is free. 1.0 just came out and it gives you this great, great alternative if you have a netbook or if you want to try it on your, an old computer. It runs really well as well. As well. I guess you can say it runs really well as well. But if you have any other questions, uh, you can contact me, uh, the Macintosh one at gmail.com and always check out my website, the Macintosh one.com uh, for blog posts, for all my links to my Flickr, to my Twitter, my YouTube, all of that will be in the bottom bar. Have a nice day.